Yeah, you read that title right. I'm about to blow your mind. I mean, hopefully. Hey guys, it's V. So today I am so pumped to do this video for you guys because as soon as I saw this specific product, I immediately thought that it was super, super close to another product. So I really, really wanted to put them to the test for you guys. So I looked all over the place for this product and that is the Physician's Formula Highlight and Contour Bronze Booster palette <laughs> it is in 6809 shimmer strobing which is an interesting name for it but here it is here it's by physicians formula like i said i got this at bed bath and beyond and it was 11.99 there so yeah um basically if you guys look at it it's uh, got some really beautiful colors in here it's got like a super pale white shade a nice golden shade and then a nice deep kind of bronzy shade and immediately when i saw this i had a little bit of a you know light bulb pop up in my head and I was like this looks a hell of a lot like another palette that I own and that is the Becca Champagne Glow palette that was released in 2015 at the end of 2015 for the holidays. This palette was $34 and it was available at Sephora and it was limited edition. I picked this up because I really just didn't feel like paying the full price for the Becca highlighter. I very rarely will pay the full price for a Becca highlighter. If I can get a little mini in a set I am totally okay with that but yeah it is a beautiful palette it has got the shade pearl here which actually was limited edition when this was released but then they made it a permanent highlighter in their line and it's got champagne pop of course and then it also has a blushed copper in here which is a really beautiful kind of shimmery bronzy shade so um basically what i'm here to do today is see if this limited edition palette that was 34 dollars compares to the 11.99 i don't believe this is limited edition palette from physicians formula did i say i got this at bed bath and beyond i got this at bed bath and beyond you guys see this little lump moving up and down that's sb she's sleeping underneath the comforter so I have got tons of brushes here to test this out for you guys. If not the same exact brush, these are the same exact brush, but they're all very similar to test out these products on my face to see if this is in fact a dupe because if it is, that is going to be amazing because that other palette, like I said, was limited edition. So you basically could get it. So I'm pumped, you guys. I'm super pumped about this. So basically, I'm gonna zoom in on my face and we are gonna get to applying this. Okay, so I think I'm going to do Becca on this side of my face and then Physician's Formula on this side of my face. I do have some contour on. It is the Wet n Wild contouring, whatever that thing is called. It's the split pan with the light one and the dark one, just because none of these are contour shades. So I didn't really think that it would make that much of a difference. So I am just going to take my Becca Champagne Glow Palette and I'm going to take the shade blushed copper and I'm going to use that sort of as my blush today it's a little bit deep for me I will admit but if for the sake of testing this video out I'm going to do that so I'm going to be using the elf angled blush brush for that one today so let's go ahead and take some of this and we're just going to apply it onto the cheek this one is very powdery though as y'all can see I wonder if the physicians formula one will be powdery like this one is So you guys can kind of see it there. It's just a nice kind of rosy blushed copper. You know, isn't that what it's called? Blushed copper? It is what it's called. But it's just a nice rosy coppery blush color. Even though it is a little bit dark for me, I don't think that it looks, you know, terrible on my skin tone or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And then I'm going to take the Physicians Formula color and do that to the other side of my face. And we can compare. Haven't even taken it out of its packaging yet. Have not even tried to swatch it. This is really cool packaging though. Okay, so you've got the Physicians Formula right here. It's got this like, it's kind of thick packaging. I'm not going to lie. The, the product looks like it doesn't really like, you know, need this thick of a packaging. But maybe it comes with a brush or something. Let's see. Let's open this up here. Like I said, this was $11. 99 so oh yeah it looks like it does come with a giant mirror which is amazing and it also comes with this cute little angled brush let's see if this is soft that's really soft actually that's nice I don't really feel like this would work for highlight um because that's kind of what all of that stuff is blush and highlighter but I feel like this would be really nice for contouring actually like that would probably work really well if you just like cut 
cheek, I'm, I'm using the viewfinder, this is a lot harder than it was, okay. If you like cut the cheekbones with this, this is actually a really nice little brush. So, kind of pumped about that, but I'm not gonna be using it for this. So, I don't think that any of these have names or anything like that from what I can see on here. So, I'm just gonna use this shade that looks most similar to blushed copper. And since I didn't have another e.l.f. angled blush brush, this is the large angled blush brush from Lexi Beauty, and they're pretty much the same exact brush. So let's go ahead and dip into that one. Eh, it's powdery, but it's not, I don't think it's really that powdery. Honestly, it's very pigmented. Definitely gonna tap off some of that excess. Use this little mirror in here. And let's just go to town. Wow, very pigmented. Looks more pigmented, honestly, than the... Uh, Becca one. Let's just try to blend that out a little bit more. I always go so ham on the blush, you guys. Always. Okay, I will say that the Becca one does blend a little bit easier. As you can see, this one is not really like blending as nicely as the Becca one blended out. It doesn't look terrible, but it is taking a little bit more effort to try and get a blended look when that one just seamlessly kind of gradients down my face, you know what I mean? I mean, the color though is pretty damn spot on. It looks identical, very, very close. I haven't swatched them yet together on my hand. In fact, I am gonna wait till the end to do that so we can see. But now I'm just going to take my Luxie tapered highlighter brush and I'm going to dip into Champagne Pop and then put that a little bit on the cheeky bones. So I believe this was my Becca side, yes. So let's take some Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop is a little bit dark for me, but we're gonna make it work. Let's just put a little bit of that on the cheekbone right here. Such a pretty color. Such a beautiful golden highlight. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that on the cheekbone there. Blends out nicely, pigmented, glittery. Y'all know, you have champagne pop, I'm sure. It is so hyped. And I happen to have two of these brushes, so I'm gonna use the same one for the Little Physician's Formula color that is very similar in here. Also very pigmented on that brush. So let's take that on the cheeky bone. Color wise, I think if anything, it's like the eensiest bit more golden. The eensiest bit. I don't even know if y'all will be able to tell, but it's just a tiny, tiny bit more golden. But I'm not mad at it, it's still really pretty. <laughs> and that one actually blended out pretty much the same. So I think that that one is definitely probably a good dupe. Now for the pearl shade, I've got my Real Technique setting brush and then a like fake one that I got off of eBay, which I can link that video up here for you guys if you'd like me to. But yeah, I've got both of those, so pretty much the exact same brush, very, very similar. So I'm gonna take the shade Pearl from the Becca palette and I'm gonna use my little dupe brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna tap off some of that excess and we're gonna put that one a little bit higher on the cheekbone. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, I love that shade. It's so, so good for pale skin, obviously, because it's literally white. But you can see that there looks very, very pretty, blends in really nicely with Champagne Pop. And then let's take the actual Real Techniques brush and put it in the white shade here. This is probably, oh my God, that is so much powder on there. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's a lot of powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap off a little bit more of that excess there. We're gonna put that up higher. Ooh, wow, that one looks more pigmented to me. Just on first, uh, first application. Yeah, that definitely looks more pigmented to me. Can you guys tell? It looks much whiter. Wow. That's intense. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful though. Becca, Physician's Formula. Becca, Physician's Formula. I will say Physician's Formula is more pigmented. 
Um, not necessarily a good thing because this is looking really dark on my face right now. I think I am definitely going to have to put some face powder on to kind of blend out a little bit of this because that blush color was too dark for me in general. <laughs> but the whole point of this video is to see if these are a dupe for each other and if you're wanting to achieve the same type of look, I totally think that this achieves the almost exact same type of look. If anything, Physicians Form is more pigmented so you're gonna get more color out of it so I don't really think there's anything wrong with that so I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna do some little swatches on my hand of the color so we can see what they look like on the hand I think actually maybe before I do that I should probably go blend this out a little bit more so I'm a BRB and go blend this out okay I feel like that looks a little bit better I just blended some face powder on top with a big fluffy brush and kind of did a little bit of blending there so let's go ahead and do some swatches so we can see what this looks like so first First, I am going to swatch the Physicians Formula. I'm going to start with this white shade. These are very creamy, borderline a little bit powdery, I will say that, but they are very pigmented. So let's go ahead and swatch that one. Okay, so there is the white shade from Physicians Formula. And then I'm going to take the white shade Pearl from Becca and we can see what that one does. This one is definitely not as powdery. Let's see what they look like swatch next to each other. That's the same. <laughs> All right, guys, so you can see Physicians Formula, Becca. The only thing is Becca is not as pigmented as Physicians Formula, but look at that, you guys. That is, that's pretty much the same color. So now let's go into this middle shade and see if that one is a little doopy doop. These are really creamy, you guys. I mean, like they're powdery, but they're so creamy also. They're really, really nice. You can see right there, that's the swatch. And let's do it on the hand. So you guys can see that is the Physician's Formula Golden Color. And then let's take Champagne Pop with our pinky. That one's a little bit more powdery now that uh, I'm comparing the two. I've got powder like all over my pants. <laughs> okay, so let's swatch that one next to it. Again, they are so similar that I, can, I can't even really see a difference there. That's insane. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so now let's go into the blushed copper shade, which I'm obviously gonna do on my other hand because there's not enough room here, but take my index finger and dip into that. So there's the swatch of it there. Such a gorgeous color. This would be a beautiful eyeshadow color too. So pretty, so creamy. Okay, so let's take my middle finger here and go into blushed copper. There's the swatch there. Dude. <laughs> I, I can't get over this. $11.99 for a limited edition palette dupe. What the heck, you guys? Am I out of my head? Am I out of my mind? So I think that the final consensus is if you missed out on the Becca Champagne Glow palette that came out last year, you definitely need to hit up the Highlight Sculpting, what is this one called? Shimmer Sculpting palette from Physicians Formula, Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if anywhere else is going to get it soon, but this is an amazing little just I can't. I can't even I can't even. I mean, like I had a hunch, but like it so so proved my hunch, you guys. Like I am I am so happy to be able to share this with you guys that I just I'm just I'm so excited about it. I'm so enthusiastic right now. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button down there. It gets more people to watch my videos and we can grow the Muse family because if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family. And I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!